Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are gonna focus on how to make a graph for your physics lab report. So, uh, the graph will be something look, uh, look like this, um, that is labeled well and um, has the maximum and minimum gradient. So I have a copy of the data sheet. Uh, and now we are gonna go into make another graph Oh, let me delete this first. So the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to select the x-axis and the y-axis uh, by analyzing your data. And then you will click on insert and then click on the scatter plot. So here is your, all of your data presented. And then click on add chart element. X access titles and uh, click on both primary horizontal and primary vertical so for this graph the horizontal axis will be height in meters and the vertical axis will be pressure in pascal and then you need to name your graph uh, so it's pressure versus height uh, and just notice that when you say something versus something uh, is usually the independent variable versus the dependent variable so the independent variable is on the y-axis and the dependent variable is on the x-axis or you can call it horizontal axis and then just click click on your uh, data Right click and then add tree line. And then here you will see there's your option. So you will click on display equation on chart and display R square volume on chart. So the R square volume shows you um, how close data are to its, to its best feed line. So I'm gonna highlight the best feed align equation just to make it looks more clear and uh, looks more pretty. So now you need to uh, insert the arrow bar because your lab report uh, probably has some uncertainty that you need to include. So click on the graph and then add chart element, uh, arrow bar, standard arrow. So here the vertical line represents the uncertainty of your independent variable in this case is the pressure and the vertical line represent the uh, uncertainty of your dependent variable which is high in this experiment so you want to specify um, the volume so just double click and then here click custom and specify volume and then you need to uh, just find your uncertainty and then track all of them uh, same thing with the negative arrow volume because your uncertainty is plus or and minus something. So the positive and the negative volume are, are the same. So now you can see uh, this data has, the arrow bar has changed a little bit. Uh, same thing with the uh, vertical line. You need to uh, click on custom and specify volume, specify volume. And then the pressure uncertainty, negative arrow volume. All right. So now you have a pretty nice looking graph. I know the uncertainty is a, a little bit large in this experiment, uh, but that's okay. So now let's sketch the maximum gradient and minimum gradient. Uh, actually, let me change the x-axis volume first because uh, the x -axis, the minimum volume of the x-axis is now 0, negative 2, and I want to change it to 0. So you just click on the number and then change the minimum volume to 0. All right, this looks pretty good. So now let's sketch the maximum gradient and the minimum gradient. So maximum gradient is a steepest slope within your arrow bar, and the minimum gradient is the least 
steep slope within my error bar. So I need to select four volume first to sketch my maximum gradient and my minimum gradient. So the mass maximum gradient will come from this point to this point, and the minimum gradient will come from this point to this point. So let me just write that down, maximum gradient x, maximum gradient y, and the minimum gradient x and minimum gradient y. And then enter the volume for those four points. So the minimum pressure, maximum pressure. Oops. in the height let's just double check the volumes to check if it's right so the maximum gradient come from here uh, to here so looks all right and then come from here here yeah i think that will be fine and then um, double click uh, select data add a new series called a maximum gradient <clears throat> select your uh, x-axis and then your y-axis now see uh, those two points selected, and then just click on one of the points selected. Uh, right click the point and add straight line. Display the equation in the R square. So let me highlight that in this orange color and change the, this equation to the blue color since the line color is different. Yeah. Cool. So now we are going to do the same thing to the minimum gradient as well. So select data, add a new series, minimum gradient. So the x volume will be this, and the y volume. All right. Right click a train line, display equation, and uh, the R square. Put it down here. Highlight. I don't know. Let me just use screen. All right. Let me just make the graph a little bit larger. So you have your maximum gradient, minimum gradient, and train line now. And the next thing we're gonna do is to uh, add the legend. So I like to do the bottom one. Yeah, and then you can see your maximum gradient, your, uh, your minimum gradient. And if you want, you can change the naming of it, but uh, you can do it after yourself. So. This will be your graph, uh, the y-axis, the y-axis, uh, let me see if I can ch change the name, select data, yeah, let me change the name to train line.
boom, shoot. So the name will be here. Maximum gradient. Maximum gradient. So you have changed your. I'm gonna delete the linear thing because it just doesn't look very nice. So this will be your graph, and uh, if you want, you can like backward one or two period if you want, or you can also um, forward one or two period if you want. Just. Let me change the color of this line. So this will be the graph and um, I hope this video is helpful and thank you guys for watching this. Have a nice day.